Hello, Darren. Hi, Darren. Do you fancy drawing another um, lawnmower and owner combination from your trip to Absolutely. the Lawnmower Museum? What is its Absolutely. proper title? The British Lawnmower Museum. It's this uh, lawnmower I'm drawing here. Well, so once again, you're drawing the owners. Yeah. Already a clue. Yes. Owners. Should we, should, we, should we make this a quiz? Should we, should we make this? We, oh, no. It'll probably, the title will probably be on the, the video, won't it? Not necessarily, but... Okay, um, let's not then. Let's not. Let's, uh, let's make sure that this one has... <laughs> Guess, guess, guess whose lawnmower this is on the title. I've just gone really, like, really uh, almost abstract since I started painting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, see. as with all drawing, oh, very, a very similar construction of rotor blade right. to the Diana Dawes lawnmower. I, I imagine for a, a long, long time, they didn't change. And maybe even now, you probably get lawnmowers that have got that same same construction. Well, now it's quite often just a little uh, plastic wire, isn't it, that spins? Well, that's a streamer. Or they do, do, I, they do them in lawnmowers as well. Mm -hmm. I should have paid more attention at the uh, museum, really. Now, this this... This uh, lawnmower, why, of all the words to pause on and not be able to find in my brain, why would I not use <laughs> the word lawnmower when it's all <laughs> we're talking about? Um, this lawnmower has been presented to the Lawnmower Museum with a uh, big pink bow, which actually... <laughs> might end up being the hardest thing to render. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All those folds. There's a very, very... Oh, I see. So I thought the handle up here had stripes on it, but they've actually wrapped the ribbon uh, around uh, the handle. What would, we, uh, who else is what, would, what would we what would we say these two people are uh, famous for? I, I, I would say uh, reading and shoplifting. <laughs> fur? Is fur? Yeah. <laughs> uh this uh I'm not going there. I'm not going there. <laughs> I would actually say, despite that disparaging remark, that that blight on their on their on their copybook. Um, what other, apart from this person, famous shoplifters are there? I can only think of Winona Ryder. Uh, well, I mean. I'm loath to say in case I'm actually wrong and it turns into uh What well, do we have to, so do, we, do we have to do we have, do we have to do do we have the technology to bleep? Yes, we do. Uh and sometimes that makes it funnier, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um right. well, Anthony we, Warrell Thompson. Oh really? Got accused of stealing cheese from a supermarket. Well, that's funnier as well because, you know, of, of his job. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, it's true. He got a caution for it. Don't even have to bleep him out. Yeah, Tesco. Oh. It's always Tesco, isn't it? All right, then. This is going to go in a bit of a direction. Have you ever shoplifted? Uh, once when I was a kid, I pinched a pencil from Smith's. Uh, uh, I have done it on more than one occasion. I had a, I had a, little, I had a little kleptomaniac phase at one point. 
Well, interestingly enough, I've got a friend um, who admitted to me that occasionally he put a um, stick of spearmint in his pocket if he was walking around the supermarket. He, he just uh, have that as a kind of little protest against the man. Um, and I thought it's like slightly odd, but yeah, I told him so. I, I told him. So. I think I might have at some point tried to, in in my naivety, in my youth, I might have tried to put some of that reasoning on it. You know. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm doing a socially. I'm Robin Hood. I am. <laughs> you know. But I think that, but, but, so you just kept it. But I think the truth of the matter is, is um, it's just the buzz, man. I was gonna say, you think it's boredom? I, I, I really do remember the feeling. Actually, uh, my my heart used to pound, and oh, I'm not saying I did it lots and lots. No, I did, it, I did it, you know, a few times, you know, and, uh, and I think sometimes it would be just not anything I even wanted, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like, I'd get to the counter and I'd see something and I'd do it. Um, but I think in the case of, uh, these celebrities, uh, these celebrity shoplifters. Uh, that would be interesting if that was the reason. In fact, actually, maybe. In fact, actually, maybe it's more likely that it is. If if you if you're a celebrity, the the sort of you have more to lose, I guess. You know, in in the story getting out, right? And, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And and it's more than just you know a bit embarrassing in front of your friends. It's 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 it it, it has some. <laughs> Just yeah, <laughs> are you drawing them in a way that they like, you can't possibly tell who they are until the very last thing? Is that I'm, why you've got more abstract to make it more of a quiz? N- no, no I was just <laughs> I'd started off slightly more abstract, uh, and I kind of I feel like I've lost control of it. <laughs> I mean, I think I, I think we I think I've given enough information that you know. It'd be quite guessable now. Should be, should be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how, you, how accurate. I, mean, I don't always claim accuracy uh, in these, but these, I think I'm just going to go with the uh, weirdness of this one and make sure it's not accurate at all now. <laughs> I can kind of see what I want to do, and it's not a proper portrait. So I'm going to go with it. Because that's one of the great things about art. Sometimes you just um, don't know what you're going to get. I'm, uh, I'd say, probably say more me than you. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so it looks like from this photograph from the lawnmower museum that I'm working yeah. from, I'm guessing it looks like it almost looks like they were asked. Does it does, I feel like it? the way they've kept the bow on it suggests that uh, the donators of this, you know, lawnmower. Yeah, put the bow on it, and then the museum has said, "Well, you know, yeah, this is extra provenance, isn't it?" You know, yeah. Well, the um, there's um, there's a wall in the museum with a list of photographs of the owner with various uh, celebrities, and I think he goes to a lot of dinners and stuff and charity balls and that. I think he, I think he does a lot of work for charity as well. Um. So there's pictures of him with like, I don't know if there's a picture of him with George Harrison even maybe. 
Uh, well, he's a famous one... gardener, isn't he? I mean, he, yeah, I exactly. Yeah, he would have like deluxe lawnmowers. Yeah, and there's a picture of him to tie into a, another one of our videos. A picture of him with Fred Dibner made me chuckle. Uh, Fred Dibner, um, who's also made an imp- uh, as as previously made an appearance in um, yeah Brentwood Tuxedo. Um, so um, yeah, I think he's probably. When he's at these charity balls and stuff, he just asks people, have you got an old lawn or can I have it? I reckon it's the sort of thing, you know, that could appeal to the best of better nature of anyone, you know. Yeah. Please, no, no, photographs, think... no photographs about around Marilyn Manson. Uh, please, please don't bother him. He needs absolute quiet before he goes on stage. Please, please, no one, talk, yeah. no one in Marilyn Manson's backstage area. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I just want to ask him if I could, uh, if he donate a lawnmower to my museum. <laughs> oh, oh, he probably would be up for that. Go in, go in. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I'd definitely be saying yes. This is making me laugh now. This painting. <laughs> it's making me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 I've gone off piste. You can still pull it back. I don't want to. <laughs> the more I draw this, the more I want to believe that it was... Uh the lady of this couple that lovingly did this uh, wrapped bow. <laughs> it could easily be someone in the office. Oh, don't say that. I think it's perfectly believable it, it was her, don't you? Yeah. He's got a wonky nose. Just not. In, in your picture, or he has? Knowing the photo that I'm working from. Well, we're just going to have to take One your thing word on that, aren't we? You notice um, a lot when you're drawing portraits, people, how bent noses are. I don't think I really notice noses. <sighs> I think if, like, if I got, you know, if I was involved in a bank robbery and had to help them with the photo fit, I don't think I would be able to give them much information on the nose. No, yeah, yeah. It's just, you'd know if they had one or not, but that was about it. Yeah. And I'm sort of now giving some thought to, you know, people I know and thinking, well, what would I say about that person's nose? <laughs> are you enjoying that yeah I, I want to ask a question about something you've done but I feel like the question in itself might be insulting if <laughs> <laughs> no go on <laughs> well you haven't finished the mouth on the lady have you not yet no right. okay. <laughs> not started it <laughs> Go on. she cur- currently has an almost like et gap between the uh the nose and the mouth is so that line there is like a bottom lip or something presumably i know that that line there is her chin Okay, well, that that, that yes. immediately makes everything a lot more forgivable. Because yeah. it, it, <laughs> my my it was, it, my brain was making at the mouth, which 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 was giving her a real ET quality, <laughs> like John Major's top lip. Yes, John Major's. Yes, yeah. he. Uh, what is that called? That's got a word, hasn't it? That's it. That the the gap between the gap between your nose. Okay, I'm going to look it up for us. Hold on. Is it filtrum? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, how would you spell that? 
F I L T R U M. I think might that be just the bit in the middle of your top lip between your nose. You know, where it's it, ah, there's little indentation. You're right, but it, you're right, but it's spelt uh, it's spelt differently. It's it's P H. Right. P H. Okay. I'm really pleased with this portrait, actually. <laughs> I know, I know it's all wrong, but it just makes me laugh. <laughs> it's making me laugh too. <laughs> you can't underestimate uh, the ability of a drawing to make people laugh. I think um, it should be recognised more that. I'm not using it as an excuse for bad art because uh, I can do good portraits as well. But sometimes, just when it starts going wrong, just go for it. I have quite a uh, challenging commission. that I've been asked to do. I think I showed you it. Tell us about it. Well, I'm sort of wondering whether it actually might be an interesting thing to do in um, uh, Brentwood Tuxedo. Um, you How know, long do you think it might take you? Well, that's the thing as well. Yeah, it'd take longer than any of our videos. So maybe like it should be like we'll d do a video and, we, you know, we just watch me do part of it maybe or something. But I think well, like... I reckon I can, uh, I can spare a bit of time to do an, an epic. But I think, I, I really do think it would take a few hours actually. Uh, yeah. But I think, um, but I think that the that, that, uh, commissions in general is, 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 um, might be something interesting to talk about. It like, might be something. Uh, it's definitely something yeah. we've talked about before, and and something I often talk about with artists. The the yeah, um, yeah, just the dance, the dance you play with commissions. You know, you <laughs> what, make, what makes them what makes a good commission, and and when it's right to say no. Um, yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, because I love doing them and I, and when they work, I, 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 I love making someone happy, but often, I guess we're doing it now, aren't we? I guess we're talking about it now, but often yeah. the, uh, the, um, the weight of expectation can be, uh, a difficult thing sometimes. And, yeah. um, we both, we both have a style that could be described as a bit wobbly. Yeah. I think I, I, the, the, well, there's a couple of things I do as commissions, but I do dogs and pets. Uh, but I also do people's houses. And I right, think, yeah. I think I told you this story before, but someone asked me to do the house and they said, uh, but you know, can you make sure that, the, that that second window in from the right, uh, uh, can you make sure that glass is frosted on on, on that one? <laughs> and I was like, I, f I I think you've got the wrong person. <laughs> it's the thing with commissions is interesting, and it it came up uh, last night, even before you told me that you, you had a quite an interesting one to do, and that um, Becky was asking me if I was going to be doing any drawing last night. And it turns out she was asking me that because she really wanted to finish watching a series that she was, she was getting into. Um, but she said, uh, oh, if you're not drawing, it's fine. I know you can't, you know, you can't just expect to be creative just like that. And, and I said, well, actually, we're kind of, can expect to be creative just like that. In that yeah, yeah. You get a yeah. commission, you've got to be able to just turn it on and start working. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, and I find it's not this, that I, there's a there's a there's a there's an amount of there's not as much creativity in it if as if you're uh coming up with your own ideas and stuff, but there is still that that thing where you've got to be able to just pick up a paintbrush or a pen and just start work. Well, you notice something um because I because I should because <laughs> okay, I think this is okay to say. I think this is okay to say. But what yeah. me and you do is we sometimes uh, ask each other advice on pricing and things like that because that's the yeah. other thing about commissions. It's it's you know look at what we're doing. How how on earth is this work? And yeah. yet it is. You know. Yeah. Um. Um. And so I showed you the the inquiry. Uh you know, with a view to you having an input on the price, which l you said exactly the amount I thought I should say, but you mm. noticed that they, um, it was, I can't remember how it was worded, but the, they asked what my mo, how, how, mot how motivated I would be to do this painting, yeah. which yeah. I thought was a really good question. It you know, Cause it was almost like it was important to them that I would like to paint this thing as. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I've just noticed in the photograph. Look behind it is uh, that is there you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was good. They, they, they were actually considering that you may not even want to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they asked yeah. you, and I thought that was really, really yeah. aware of them that you know sometimes, and it it was, it just felt like they they understood. If you just said no, I don't fancy drawing that. It's not something that interests me. They would understand, yeah. I, but I think they also probably knew, seen enough of your stuff to know that you probably would want to draw it. Well, I mean, let's be honest as well that that I get commissions in a uh, a, a way which is obviously related to the music, and it's not that I'm implying that people yeah. don't like my art and they only are buying my art because of the music. I'm not saying that. I think they're they're all smart enough to buy my art they like my art but it's just yes. a yeah it's a head start into it and i think yeah it is definitely there's a there's an added thing with uh when yeah. people are commissioning you for something it's probably because yeah they like your music as well but it's not the main reason is it yeah, um, it's not, isn't it? no but i mean it is i mean it's interesting when you go up the ladder isn't it because you know uh ron wood's paintings you know, will cost yeah. a lot more than, uh, you know, a relatively successful artist, be not because he's a great artist, but because he's Ron Wood. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But he's kind of, people might have different opinions, but he's not terrible, is he? In I haven't looked for a while. Let me have a little look now. Although I'm not, I'm not massively keen on what he does, but he can <laughs> paint. Just occurs to me that sometimes when I'm doing this, especially when I finish my picture, I don't have to. Um, I don't have to trust my memory. I can just check. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it weird? Whenever you type someone's fate, somebody famous names into uh, the first thing, it nearly always autofills is net worth. Is that really what most people are interested in with people? Oh God! Right, yeah, yeah, no, no, I can't believe that. I've never even googled that in my life. Yeah, it's like, when you're in a, it's like when you're in a pop quiz. Uh, you're in a sort of a, a pub quiz, and uh, you know, then the the uh, the music realm comes up, and then they're like, oh, you know, Darren will be good at this. And then the questions are all like, how many records did Cindy Lauper sell in 1985? It's like, well, that's not yeah, a question, is it? That's an economics <laughs> question. That's a business question. <laughs> I would say... Ron Wood. That he's... He's not terrible. He's not terrible, is he? There, there's, there's, there definitely is some. Oh my goodness! 
Uh, <laughs> you're changing your mind now. <laughs> well, this is quite a bold idea. He seems to have done one painting of 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 the Rolling Stones, but planted them all inside um, Guernica by Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's kind of funny that what he tends to paint is the Rolling Stones. I mean, yes, yeah. But then I guess you know. Well, he knows his audience. Paint, paint what you know. Yeah. Right. So I've finished, and I'm assuming you've finished. Yeah, I finished. I have the same sort of. I seem to be getting. I seem to be in a very wet mood today. I I got quite a bit to Mm. dry, and I think I could do a couple more lines down here when it dries. Yeah. Um. Get so perhaps it's time for you to reveal to us <laughs> <laughs> who owns the lawnmower. <laughs> it's like today, Matthew. I'm going to be painting. <laughs> it's Richard and Judy. Very, very good. Uh, bye, bye, Darren. Bye, Darren. <laughs>